Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Three Crones in the Woo Woo. I'm Gail Nicholson, Resilience Coach, Creative Command Coaching and Consulting. And I have with me here, Krista Ducharme, Intuitive Healer, Teacher, uh, just all around sparkly girl uh, with Dim Dimensional Healing with Krista on Facebook. And standing down here below us, on the screen is Damaris Samolinski, intuitive healer, a, a medical astrologer, and the newest crone among our So happy for that. Thank you. Absolutely. We have had a really, really fun week with collectively and individually spreading the word on other people's shows. And, you know, it's been a lot of fun. So I, I kind of... We normally check in with weather and what's the COVID rules, and by all means, do that. But let me know how this week has gone. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Who is this? Right. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? I think we might want to co op that for three crowns, though. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Woo. Let's own it. I like that. Woo woo forever. <laughs> woo woo. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, Krista, let's yes, start. What have you been out and about doing? And um, how's the weather? How's the COVID restrictions doing? <laughs> All right, so the we let, let's start with the weather because the weather just kind of sucks right now. Um, we've had rain. Oh, and um, we've had rain. And we've had really different rain. So <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I say this tongue in cheek, but in all sincerity. So today we had this really weird rain. It was hard. It wasn't hard like hail. But it was, have you ever seen those raindrops? They kind of look like icicles that you put on your tree, right? You know, yeah. they're about this long. Yeah, I've actually seen them as raindrops today. Oh, and felt them. And they don't tickle. Oh, that <laughs> just, sounds like hell. Yeah. In case you wondered. <laughs> yeah, no, today we're out and I'm like, ow, ow, that hurts. <laughs> And it's these, these really long, hard raindrops. All right, but that's not the news. Yes, COVID is COVID. Whatever. Um, I'm just kind of now that she's double point. vaccinated, she's like, over it. Done. Just, Get out of my way. I'm going to Germany. Well, we're, we're still, we're almost there. We're hoping um, that maybe by the end of June. I know, you know, Kevin's on leave right now. And so we're doing these little day trips. We're going to on our bikes, on our brand new bikes. We got brand new bikes. Oh, That's my God. big news. I have an e-bike. And I'll tell you what. It is amazing. If you've never ridden an e-bike before, don't think that you're, it, it's a moped. Do not confuse moped with an e-bike. <laughs> an e-bike, you still work. Your quadriceps still say, hello. <laughs> Your core muscles say, yo, <laughs> you forgot about me, but I haven't forgotten about you. I've never, uh, I've never had an e-bike. I've never been on an e-bike. Oh, let me Have tell you? you. Yeah, no. So we just got them and we've been riding them and it's been amazing. Um, and yeah, we did 12 kilometers on Saturday, we did eight kilometers on Friday, and my body, or wait, no, I'm sorry, eight kilometers on Saturday, 12 kilometers on Sunday, Monday was a holiday here, um, we were going to go ride on, but it, it was like raining and thunderstorms, so yeah, we didn't go ride, and today we didn't ride because, you know, I was explaining what the rain felt like, um, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like hail. It, it, well, it wasn't hail, though. It was really bizarre because you could see it. And it was this long raindrop. It was wow. really it was really interesting. And, um, but yeah, so that's a, that was really cool. But in terms of, now, I was a guest. Let's go back a little bit further. On Thursday, I was a guest with Adam Duvall with um what it, mental mind warriors here yeah. in england 
And so I was one of his guests as me, but still as one of the three crones as well, because we spoke about you guys. We spoke about our uh -huh. show, which was really super cool um, because it just, it, it kind of, so mental health is really important. And I don't think anybody should try to brush it away yeah um i find that people when they do that it means that they're uh, they don't understand yeah and i'm not saying i completely understand but what i do understand my aspect of mental health is mean that it means there's a mind body soul disconnect absolutely I and agree. so for me because i'm all about an equilateral triangle <laughs> of the mind body and soul it just it, it really it really resonates i agree so, with you on that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah cause I, I i have to i'm a leaper it's all about balance if something's out of yeah. balance i it does it does it, it just doesn't make sense it's, it's and, so funny you know, because yeah. i want to talk about that today with the moon and and the emotions because oh god it yeah excellent yeah. excellent yeah, See, it all falls together. Yeah, it does. It, it does. does. And the emotions, and what, not to take from Damaris here, but think about the emotions that we've all been probably experiencing since about, I'll say Saturday, Sunday, definitely yesterday and today. I don't know about you guys. We all woke up here. I was fine. <laughs> However, I had two grumpy Gus's in my household. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. We are starting to experience that full moon yeah. that has an eclipse. Oh, yeah. And it's a super moon. It's a super moon. And, yeah. yeah and, and you could just feel the energy of it. And I'm not And for me because I knew to expect it. As I started feeling it, I was going, oh, yeah. Well, hello, Supermoon. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things. So, yeah, it's been, for me personally, as you can tell, I'm all over the map. So, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How about you, Damaris? What are you doing in New uh, York? How's, how's the, the weather? The weather here has been a little crazy. It was like really hot, like last week. Uh, Saturday was like 90. And oh, then wow. uh, I think it was Saturday. No, Sunday. It was really, really hot. It felt like summer, like really. And then mm -hmm. on Monday, it dropped to like 60. So we went from 90 to 60 overnight. Oh, so geez. it was like, yeah, it was like a culture shock. So to speak. Right. And it's been a little bit like 65 and windy, um, you know, uh, yesterday and today. So, yeah, it's crazy weather. I saw a meme where somebody put like, OK, I'm going to go out with my rain jacket, with my coat, with my flip flops, with my sunglasses, with my <laughs> scarf, with my hat, my mittens, because you never know <laughs> what right. the weather's going to be like when you step outside and then you come back home. It might be a totally different, uh, you know, scenario. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I remember that climate from Michigan where you'd like in May, you'd walk to school with your coat and your hat on. And then by noon, yeah. it had warmed up and you completely yeah. forget your coat and go uh -huh. home, you know? Yep. And then your mom be like, what are you going to wear tomorrow morning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy yeah. weather. So COVID, are you guys opening up a little bit more? Or? We're actually um, open pretty much 75%. And okay. anybody that has been vaccinated, don't they don't have to wear their mask. Although some people still do. Um, so you find a lot of people in supermarkets and in different places not wearing one now because they are fully vaccinated. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not, so I wear mine. Um, but you see that now a lot. But with 75% mm -hmm. open. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's yeah, very that's cool. Good. And you you were guest on uh, Adam's show as well this past week, weren't yes. you? Yes. So we talked about his aspect. Oh, yes. Yeah, he, he wanted to know a little bit about my background. And then we spoke about that. And then we talked about his potential because, again, the um, astrological aspects are all potential because we can or will or may not reach those potentials. Mm -hmm. So we talked about that. So it was fun. Nice. 
Very, very cool. Um, I want to say hi to all of our watchers and listeners and viewers and audience in whatever sh shape or form they take. Tracy Paquin, um, Norma Velez, Adam Duvall, Joanne Angel, Barry Cologne. Thank you so much for tuning in today and Hello, making comments, everybody. giving us some love. Really appreciate you being here. Um, and also, Joanne says that the weather's kind of related to um, the solar flares that are going on right now. Yes. Yeah, yeah that makes yeah. a lot of sense. It really that does. does. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so here in Arizona this past weekend, you know, it's kind of funny because Krista loves this full moon because it's in Scorpio, right? <laughs> And here I am, this this double Scorpio in the background, just waiting for the meteors to hit, right? <laughs> and I've been enjoying this, actually. Isn't it nice? <laughs> yeah, this has been really nice. It's um, really fun to be a Scorpio sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey. I mean, I'm not a Scorpio, but I, and I, I understand it. Yep, mm -hmm. there you go. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing, Joanne. Um, all of you, please. Feel free to share out because that's how you get included into the drawing this week. So, yes, it is. Um, wanted to just kind of bring you up to date on what we were doing here um, over the weekend. We went camping out at, it's, it's called Lake Roosevelt. And it's one of three lakes that were created by damming the Salt River. Okay. Um, so really, really beautiful, beautiful scenery, all that. We're out there in, in the, uh, and watching these stunning sunsets. And I look up and my daughter goes, hey, that's four peaks, right? This mountain in the distance. And I was just absolutely fascinated because this mountain in, in general area of Phoenix, Arizona, is uh, not just what they named Four Peaks Beer after, but it's also home to the Four Peaks Mining Company, which mines amethyst out of that mountain. Oh, uh, look at Krista. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> she, she turned, her face shifted. Right? <laughs> Big time. Big time. I have well, some of this wearing is... amethyst. Very nice. I am sporting it tonight. That Very is awesome. Good. You, as soon as you spoke about crystals, her face shifted. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. I'm in the middle of trying to chat with our viewers. I'm like, <laughs> oh, crystal. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yep. Got her little antenna perked. Um, so, so yeah, it was really cool though because you're I. For years, I've been looking at the mountain from the other side, and they always say, yeah, between one of the two of those peaks, there's a mine, right? Well, from the other side of it, you can see the mine and which two peaks it's in between. Now, wow. you can't hike to this mine. You have to fly in by helicopter. Really? Yes. And wow. usually only the people that work for the mining company gets in there, right? Um, but I guess you can actually like pay to be taken up there and mm. tour the mine on vacation on, on occasion. So wow. I'm thinking we need a field trip, ladies. That's I right. We do. Sounds good to me. Sounds you know? good. Yeah. I like that. Field yeah. trip. Yep. 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 So that that was phenomenal over the weekend. And then uh yesterday I made some uh full moon water. Um, and did a nice little ritual of letting go of a whole bunch of stuff. And right. I can already feel the results beginning to happen. And it's kind of interesting because as I walk through the house, I feel this trail behind me. Mm -hmm. You know, like things that are being drawn out. It's, the, mm -hmm. it's not like a physical sensation. It's yeah. like... Energetic. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's like cute. I, it depends on each time that you do it. And for you, mm -hmm. I'm getting a sense that it's like threads um, would be the best thready wisps. Yeah, but sometimes sometimes it can be like cubes, like ice cubes. If you think of how your ice cube maker works, mm -hmm. it just it's falling, you know, right? It's just like a little kerplump, kerplump. You know, it depends <laughs> on how you. you know, Okay, How was that again? Kerplump, kerplump, kerplump. 
<laughs> still does that funny. to me all the time. I make strange words like that, and he's like, "How was that?" And I, and I humor him. So thank you for humoring me. <laughs> it's all good. I'm 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 okay with that. Um, that's what we're all about, right? Like, right. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, but the energy it can when when it's time to release it during a full moon. And by the way, we keep um, hitting double digits as we're talking about very big things. Mm -hmm. um, if you're watching our if you're watching our numbers, and so in any case, going back <laughs> to the plumping during certain moon, certain certain full moons, that's just what happens. Um, the full moon a year ago, this past month of May, for me was was one of those moons. I just really, I released a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, it felt so good to just leave it right there. Oh, and then I moved again. Sometimes it's scary though, letting go of something, sometimes that you're used to letting it go because it no longer serves. It can be scary yeah. as well. <laughs> I think it can be scary to make the decision. Yeah. The process is not. No. Really, because it's it's like in the unseen, yeah. right? You just start noticing differences, mm -hmm. you know? Like uh, one of the things that I released was my distractions, right? And I, I checked in at Facebook today and I was just like, okay, got to do other stuff now. Whereas yeah. I can get, I can go down the rabbit hole. I could spend the entire afternoon oh, yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm already noticing that the things that I've asked to release and asked my, my, my guides, my angels, my counsel to help me with, they are doing that. And it's been really, really cool. So I highly recommend to anybody, we still have a couple more days of the full moon. It didn't actually hit full until today. Yeah. Um, so you still have time to get out there and two more days, two more days, make some full moon water if you'd like, yeah. um, do a, a releasing ritual of your choice, um, mm -hmm. and then celebrate, dance a little bit under the full moon. Things yeah. to come. You don't have to be but... naked. It's up to you. Right. Yeah, well, you know, for me, I'll tell you what, if it, if I wasn't having these, you know, huge icy cold raindrops, perhaps I would be out dancing naked <laughs> uh, <laughs> under the full moon. Right? There you, uh, you go. You know, I'll tell you, it, this energy is amazing energy. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm so glad you get to make the full moon water. That's amazing. Me too. But I, I, I want to be very, very careful with it because I was like in like, making my coffee with it. it makes my coffee taste good when I was doing the new moon water. Right. Yeah. And it's like, Hmm. Ooh, two what totally you... different types of water. Yeah. That's why I'm like, Hmm. What, what's my intention with this? Mm -hmm. Kind of. I think of it more. Okay. I know you're not Catholic. However, you've probably seen enough Catholic, Catholic like. Uh, my best friend was Catholic growing so up. That, so think of how they spray holy water. My sense for you is like you're using it like you spray holy water. So think of it as you're um, spraying it or you're um, flicking it yeah, and into it. the space yeah. to nice. clear and release and let go. I, me personally, at least at the moment, I don't know if I would ingest a lot of it. Unless, I mean, unless you feel like spending a lot of time in the bathroom. <laughs> well, well that's a release. so far <laughs> so I far. mean you may need that <laughs> that's a release it right is, but there that's a release of energy or you know so there are many there are many ways that we release and I guess that's the point and some people need to release physically emotionally and spiritually yeah um, but don't forget that the surroundings it could be it could be in your house. It could be in your office. It could be in your car. It could be um, your the property line that your house or that you live on if you're in an apartment. So think of it as in terms of your you know using it as a way to release and let go. Nice. I like that because especially since I this time I didn't make three gallons. I made one gallon. Um, oh, good. And um, 
when I put it in the closet, I heard this is banishing water. Use it for uh, banishing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you have it. Uh, so yay. Um, yay. But yeah, one of well, the intention why I made it with my coffee with it today was to ingest the power of the releasing because when I did the releasing stuff mm -hmm. and I burnt the 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 pages, I yeah. put the the water on top of the ashes. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's and then powerful. charge the water. So mm -hmm. this, while I drink this particular gallon, I'm going to drink this particular gallon of water to help literally flush out any of the toxins that would remain to call back into the void. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm new to this stuff. I'm trying everything. What the hell? <laughs> Try it. So as you're at, at a little bit of an intention, Mm -hmm. And fill it with either a white light, a golden light, or a silver light. Because remember, if you've released and let go and you're banishing something, you need to fill the void with something. Yeah. So you be the one who fills it. Yes. And last night during that ritual, I filled, uh, there were, I put some crystals around it rather than in it. And yeah. the intention was the golden healer. There you oh, go. That. So that was. I yeah. like that. That's a good I like one. That. I like that one. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All That's right. Awesome. So back to business. Yes, ma'am. I want to invite everyone to please yes, yes. reach out to our sponsor, Sue, over at Class Act Imports. She's got all kinds of stuff, not just Baltic Amber, but also every week that we every week we talk about a crystal and she has those crystals for you to purchase from her. So definitely like reach out to Sue and find out what it is that you need this week. And we're okay, going to be talking about the it, crystal. I need to give her an advertisement. Okay. Moment, go for I'm it. Working, I'm working on something for her. Mm. So this is a box she sent to me and there's a little green phrase out. And it's a box of seven crystals. Now, all the crystals that are in this box are crystals that we've discussed, crystals that we talk about. Now, I will I will say that the majority of them are going to be the same. However, there will be several that are not alike. So should you decide that you want to get involved, I'm calling it the seven crystals. I haven't quite come up with the catchy name yet. Ooh. However, maybe ladies, you might have something. Seven rocks for making your life rock. No, I like that. Ooh, I like that. I like okay. that. I need to write that she down. Out, she, you came out of nowhere with it's that. It's what one. I do. She does. I'll tell you what. I love it. Girl. So, <laughs> all right. So, seven rocks to make your life rock with class act imports and dimensional healing because I'll be adding um, a, a, a PDF that you guys can have. Um, for each of these boxes and yeah, this is coming to you if you want to reserve yours now reach out to class act imports um, because let her know let Sue know that you want your name on this box and what we'll start doing is we're organizing it I know that she has I want to say she has eight currently made and so we're, we're, we're working on more. And not only does she have this, so you know how I talk about the yin and yang stones? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, she has um, uh, like a half a dozen boxes of yin and yangs as well. And we're working on, and she's getting ready, by the way, she's getting ready to go to a festival. So if you want one of these boxes before she goes to the festival, you need to reach out to her now. Just say Sue. Krista says. Nice. And Put my because, name on a box. Because it, when she goes to these festivals, these boxes are going to like, they, they're going to go. They will go. And yeah, I need to actually get my acting gear. I need to stop riding my e-bike and really get my shit done that I need to get and done. And that takes a while <laughs> too, typing and writing. It takes, it takes time. It yes. really does because I have to it write does. and I'm going to write everything out about them. Plus, another thing that's crystal related before I go on because it's going to be is that I am taking orders for negative Nelly neutralizing mojo bags. Mm 
Awesome. And pre-ordering them. And I can't give you the exact price at the moment, but I can tell you that they will be no more than $22. It Sweet. just depends on what size the crystal is going to be. Nice. Um, so if you are, message me directly. I awesome. just had somebody order, um, request an order of them. And I thought I had them, but I don't have them where I can find them, which means now I have to order crystals. So just toss that out there. All right. We may continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And now we're back from this extended PSA. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ms. Damaris, are you ready to give yes, us your I'm weekly ready. guide so. to galactic empowerment? Awesome. Awesome. All right, I'm going to talk about the number eight first. Perfect. Eight vibration, which is a wonderful number. Um, my house is number eight, so it's a very business type of house. Yeah, it's an eight number, so I love it. Um, but the eight is an executive number. It's a double four, so it's a hard worker, you know, to achieve success. I look at the eight the same as I look at Capricorn. So it's the same kind of energy. It's actually ruled by Saturn, the number eight. So it has a lot of restrictions um, for you to achieve your goals, right? So the eight um, is an executive vibration. Managers, politicians have the eight vibration. Um, we can all adapt it to, you know, and um, be disciplined and, you know, not cut corners and stay focused on the intention, on the goal that we have, and we will reach that vibration. I also see the number eight as the infinity sign, which I love. Um, the infinity sign, you know, it depends how you have it. If you have it up, you know, uh, this way, the, uh, I see it also as as above, so below, which you spoke about before, um, Gail, you spoke mm -hmm. about the as above, so below um, energy. I also see that. I want to give you my take on the as above, so below really quick. I see it as, as you know, as it is in heaven, it is on earth. So there is seven levels of consciousness and there's seven levels of heaven. So as it is here, the way we're behaving, acting, you know, being, Mm -hmm. That's how our heaven is going to be. That's why you have a lot of people that have near death experiences and they have similar, you know, experiences, but none of it is all the same because it depends on the level of consciousness that we have here. And then we experience the same level of consciousness above when we cross over or when we have a near death experience. So we want to do the best we can here so that when we cross over, that we have, we're in that heaven of a blissful heaven and we're not in such like a gray area. So that's my experience with that. Um, nice. There is no gray area here though, I believe. You know, there's no black and white. You're either here or there. There's no more, you know, gray area. Um, you're either on a spiritual path or you're not. Um, and I and I truly believe that you can't be like with one foot, you know, in and one foot out. It's either one, one or the other. Um, so that's that. Um, mm -hmm. What else can I say about that number? It's just, an, it's a powerful number. It's for powerful people um, to accomplish to a successful number. Um, so we can adapt that number anytime. Some people are born with that number, which is amazing. Um, I live in, a, like I said, in an eight um, a house. So my house, I, I knew when I moved in that the energy here was going to be for both business and, you know, and for, you know, my family. Mm -hmm. So I love that. Anything you guys want to add to that before I move on? No, I just. No, I, I love it. <laughs> what? <laughs> for all I the reasons the you listed, eight. especially the infinity symbol. Yep. Yeah. 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 No beginning, no ending. It's a very auspicious number in Asia. Mm -hmm. um, people yeah. pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in China, in Hong Kong um for to have the number eight in their phone number on their license plate in their house number it's amazing yeah i love the number eight me too yeah. me too very cool. me too powerful very powerful yes so what what can you add to what we dabbled on a little bit earlier about the scorpio full moon the blood moon the the it's the flower moon it's the blood moon it's a super moon it's you know it's 
got this certain particular alignment that's echoing back to 2003. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot to unpack this week with this. There is. Movement. There is. So what I want to add to that, uh, let's talk about the moon and what is the moon, right? Mm -hmm. So the moon is our emotional uh, state of being, right? So it's the unconscious emotions. So it's things from the past, from this life. So whatever, if we have traumas, if we, you know, our childhood, our mother, um, our psychological health, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever we've been through in the past, not just from 2003, but beyond, before that too, mm -hmm. if, we have, if we haven't healed those emotional imbalances, they're going to keep showing up. They're going to keep showing up. And so I also feel like the moon has to do with the unconscious emotions that are stored in your Akashic records. So they're always going to be downloaded. Downloaded. So if you have, for example, if you have an experience that you haven't balanced, if you had an experience from the past that you haven't balanced, you're always going to be triggered. That trigger is going to have you react a negative way, perhaps. It's going to have you explode. It's going to have you... Um, just be very emotional. Mm -hmm. So that just shows the the healing that must be done for that individual. And so when you when you have all these superpower moons and all of that, you can be sure that whoever has unresolved emotional issues, they're going to be out and about clashing with other people. So really, we need to work on those emotions and understand them. So we don't understand the past. We can't get rid of the past. It's gonna, we're gonna drag it with us. Mm -hmm. um, also, the moon has to do with your mother, how you know your relationship with your mother and how you're mothering if you have children or mm -hmm. whoever you're mothering. Sometimes you would mother your husband, <laughs> right? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, honey. Are you watching? <laughs> So it has to do with that, right? Um, how are we, you know, our relationship with mom, let's say, whether we had one or not, then carries over to our own mothering. So, you know, some people say, you know, I don't speak to my mother. I haven't spoken to my mother in years. I don't want to speak to her. But then your own mothering can be balanced. It just can't because you need to heal that before you can be, you know, the mother that you need to be for your children or whoever, like I said, whoever you're mothering. So we definitely need to work on these things, especially during these times. If we're being triggered, you know, if we um, go to the supermarket and somebody does something and you lash out, that's a trigger. That needs that. That's a wounding that needs to be balanced. That needs to be even you know, looked at. So definitely, we're going to see a lot of that during the next couple of days, and that just says, you know, this person needs healing. Mm -hmm. They might not recognize it. But we that we're working on these things, we should recognize it. So instead of, you know, reacting to whatever they're doing, it's just observing and saying, wow, you need a lot of healing, you know, or they're just regressing also to, to that time where they, the, the, where they were wounded. So I say it goes beyond, you know, it could have similar energies as 2003, but whatever you haven't healed is going to keep come, showing up. It's going to keep showing up. You know, it's it's in your auric field. And if it's in your eighth chakra, which is the Akashic Records, it just gets downloaded constantly, yeah. constantly. And you're going to have situations where you're going to have, you know, the triggers so that you could understand, okay, this needs to be worked on. So, yeah. 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 And just as a, a point of order for those of you who will be interacting with and happening upon these special souls who still are processing through things and maybe getting triggered, it will be absolutely no help whatsoever for you to explain to them what Damaris has just explained to you guys, right? Yep. Just send them love, yeah. send them healing, send them Reiki. Yep. Um, I visualize them in a pink gently bubble. Gently listen. Yeah. Yes. Gently well, listen. Too. A pink bubble. That's because when a lot of it becomes hard if you don't know Reiki or for you, you're not understanding what we're saying. Sending healing. Just think of a Care Bear. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, you know, 
honestly. But I, when I first started doing this, I just, I put everybody in a pink bubble that was struggling. Yeah. And, and full disclosure, including myself, you know, because you sometimes you need to work through your own whatever it is, even even if it's just figure out it's not yours. Yeah. And most of the time it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's like, yeah. But yeah. we sometimes get triggered too. If somebody snaps mm -hmm. at you in a supermarket, right. you react, right? Mm -hmm. um, and without, you know, realizing, wait a second, this is not mine. This is their, un their unconscious, you know, unresolved emotional issues that has nothing to do mm -hmm. with me. I may be triggering them somehow, some way, but it's mm -hmm. their stuff, not mine, yeah. right? Yeah. And we're always helping each other consciously or unconsciously. Um, as we have spoken before, we volunteer, even though we're not aware, to help some, you know, each other. It's all about love. Even before we came, you know, we incarnated, it was all about love. We don't realize that here because we only look at things through the, through the physical, egotistical um, point of view. If we rise our consciousness, then we see it for what it is, right? We see yeah. it from the higher perspective and then we can realize, wait a second, I'm triggering this person. This person needs that healing. Let me surround them with love, with a pink light, with a, you know, yeah. whatever it is, with a, uh, you know, um, a symbol from Reiki, whatever it may be so that they can process whatever they have to process. And we have to remember that as we help other people heal, the planet becomes a better place. So it's, you know, we're all in this together, even though we're having different experiences, right? Um, so yeah, we're gonna see that a lot the next couple of days, you know, and people have a lot of unresolved issues as you can see in the world. Just look at the news <laughs> and look what's yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. I, wanted, I wanna know which of you healers slacked off about four years ago because uh, we have backslid so far. <laughs> we just have. Yeah. Right? Not I says <laughs> no. Um, yeah. It's it's, it's it's a lot. It's a lot, right? Um, a lot of um and, and you know what? Because of all the, the planetary alignments, it's coming to the surface mm -hmm. so that people can some will never realize that they need healing. And mm -hmm. some will say, wait a second, if I'm the common denominator in all of this, <laughs> you know, then it's me. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and, and we have to also remember that it's about those lessons that if we aren't facing them as they come, they don't improve. You know, it's not like a fine wine. It doesn't mm. improve with age. No. It's it just, it's, keeps, no. you know, it's just shit getting higher and higher and taller and bigger. I just I just want to add something else so that our viewers can, you know, you know, reflect on this. When we're born, if our moon sign and our sun sign are not in harmonious alignment, that means that the father and the mother weren't getting along at the time of birth of that child, which means mm -hmm. that the household, you know, might have been a little bit tumultuous. And then mm -hmm. that child is absorbing all of that energy and is storing it in the Akashic Records. So a lot of the times it has to do with childhood stuff because the mother and the father weren't getting along. And that also affects us with our own goals in life, right? So if the sun sign is your, you know, your pointer um, to what you're supposed to do in this life and your moon sign is, is the reflection mm -hmm. of that emotionally, mm -hmm. so your inner work, right? So when your outer work and inner work are in alignment, you definitely get to where you need to be. But if they're out of alignment, if they're not harmonious, the sun sign and the moon sign, it's gonna take us a long time, a long, long yeah. time. Yeah. 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 yeah, no joke. Yep, totally awesome. understand that. All yeah. right, my dear Krista, are we ready for your part of the day? Yes, we this. are, yay! All right, so the crystal of the week is Numenite. Ooh. And I may, may not be saying it correctly. However, because guess what? Guess what's showing up? It's a card. That means <laughs> Krista doesn't own this bad boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it doesn't mean I, okay, I'm trying to fix my glasses here. There we go. Hi, I can see my eyes. Um, so yeah, there we go. 
It is a color of black and it's really kind of a cool, I've only ever actually seen this once in person, Numenite, but um, it's a black, it's a black um, crystal, but it doesn't have that same as obsidian or onyx or it's a, it's a much different vibe to it. So the really cool thing is, again, it fits precisely where we are with our moon and everything that Damaris was just saying. Because when you are, when Numenite shows up, it's your Earth star. So your Earth star is below your um, root. Think of it as being six inches below your feet. I always, I had a, I had said once upon a time ago during one of our talks that, you know, those, um, uh, music boxes and I think of the ones with the skaters and they're magnetized and mm -hmm. uh, the magnet is under it and it moves and it moves yeah. the skater on right that think of that as your earth star like this magnet holding you down but yet it moves with you that's that chakra it moves with you as you walk but it's your anchor it is connecting you to mama earth because remember, y'all, we are spiritual beings yep. here for an earthly experience. And we have a tendency to forget that because we either do one of two things. We either like fly to the moon and we're all airy fairy. And uh, I've been I have been told <laughs> that I can be airy fairy, but really I'm not. I'm just really always happy, but yet very anchored down. Or else we can be so grounded that we are like stick in the mud, right? And so we don't want that either. No. You want to float as you walk on your earthly experience, which is why I kind of think about that little magnet, like right? working with us, right? Yeah. As we move. So it is about connecting. Numenite is about really anchoring us down, connecting us here to Mama Earth for our Earth experience. When it is called upon us, guess what? That means we need to work within. Guess what Scorpio does? Scorpio <laughs> makes us work. Because as Damaris pointed out, there are three levels of Scorpio. Yes. <laughs> and in order to grow with each of those levels, it's an inside job. So Absolutely. it doesn't matter who you see. It doesn't matter if you go see your Akashic record keeper and they give you your astrologer or your um, Reiki master teacher or anybody, your MPL person. It doesn't matter. You can go see all those helpers. You can go see all those healers. But until you're ready to mm -hmm. say, um, hello, I need to do this work because I'm here to improve upon myself. Yeah. It's not going to work. A hundred percent. Right. 100%. So when this sucker, when, when Numenite shows up, it's here to help us. But it's not going to be here to help you like a wrecking ball. It's here to protect what it's trying to work, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that swift yeah. kick in the ass with that pillow, the feather pillow to fall upon. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So, guys, that's what we're here to do. And, and it really is a masculine stone. If I, I get really excited about... Um, <clears throat> Any stone, Krista. <laughs> oh, I do. Truth, truth, Damaris. One hundred percent. You know me so well. Um, <laughs> what is that? About. It's dirt. Oh my gosh. I do. I get really excited. I do. I do. So funny. It is. It's really great. But I love. I mean, it, it is. It's really exciting. It, but that. I digress. I like embracing the genders of stones and not all stones have genders and i know we're in this politically correct season of life um but stones do have genders of male female or they don't where they can be either or or they just are like no i'm just I, i'm just a stone <laughs> um 
<laughs> and I go, all right, so you're just a stone. However, the Numenite, even though I haven't had one to work with, um, is very much considered a masculine one. So if you're needing some masculine energy in your life, um, don't, you know, this might really be a good stone to help you with that. I like uh, that. Yeah. So we spoke about the soul I star chakra. I request a gold star for the five dirty jokes that I did not say during that talk. <laughs> Continue, Demaris. Wait, I think you have it around your neck, darling. Uh, yes, there you go, Michael. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so Demaris, what were you saying, Demaris, about the Earth Star? Well, so I mean, the, the Akashic Records, right, is yeah. the eighth, eighth chakra, which is the soul star chakra. And yeah, then yeah. you're speaking of the soul, the Earth. Earth Star. Which Earth is star. Your so feet. it's like we're encapsulated. Yep. In, in both, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love it. Yeah, it and, and it's in Power 8 Day, which in, in my energy world, because... The infinity, when I do infinity, when I do um, work with energy yeah. work, mm -hmm. I work as this, the heart being my, yes. my central, and then exactly. back and around, I love it. and down, and back and up. So are you kidding? This is an awesome is day. Amazing, amazing. The A vibration, the soul star, which is A, and yeah. then the, the, the earth star. I love it. I love it. I want to see how... Gail brings it all together. <laughs> I yeah. Girl, we're throwing it now to you. All That's right, right. let's do this. Today's topic is shedding the cosmic dust of good intentions. All right. So here's how all of this comes to be, right? The things that we really want to release right now are the attachments to things that make us insecure, the things that make us uh, hesitant, the things that um, just bury us under a pile of guilt, shame, blame, and remorse, right? Those are good things to be releasing, especially in the Scorpio full moon, because mm -hmm. of, you know, those, those, the, what st Scorpio itself kind of stands for, right? Absolutely. So here's the thing. I want you to consider and I want you to think about all of those things that were said to you that the person saying them had the best of intentions and they stuck you like a little burr, right? Mm -hmm. And they carried along for the ride, you know, maybe in your hair, maybe in the fabric of your jacket, somewhere within your auric field it found a home and you've been carrying it ever since. Now is a great time for you to make a list of those things and choose to release them, right? Mm -hmm. Now that, like we were just talking with the, the, the at Aura Star, with the Earth Star, now is the very best time that you could possibly choose to do work like this. Because you are protected. Literally, each individual is being protected by these um, elements right now. Yeah. And you are in a safe space to process through this in the least painful way possible. But as Saturn requires, you must do the work. This is what? not theoretical. Go ahead. We all have to do the work. I think that that's the aspect people forget. That is. Even, <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's the biggest complaint about law of attraction? Oh, you can't just wish for something and expect it to happen. No, you can't. You no, have to no, actually do get it. up, take inspired action, and do that next step that opens mm -hmm. up a whole new path that you never thought was even possible. Yeah, but without that done. step, you get yeah. bupkis, period. Yeah. Yep. If anything shows up, it's pure luck. Don't don't even try to take credit for manifesting it. It happened on you. <laughs> it's yeah. true, though. It, it, yeah. it, otherwise, we will all be manifesting instantly, right? Right? Yeah. Exactly. Like a dream. Right? And <laughs> we do, to a certain extent, thank God we don't in a very like real everyday yeah, type yes. thing because there yeah, would be cars thought. spontaneously blowing up in front of me on the freeway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be true. laughs> Somebody okay. takes you off, you're like, that 
Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's a really good thing that there has to be more than one piece of us aligned in order to make that magic happen. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, children would be popping it, you know, oh. bursting into flames on the playground when they bully yeah. my kid. It'd be bad. It'd be really it bad. Be. That, right? Yeah. But here's here's what it comes down to. You have we all have, we all have experienced in life where somebody has said something to us that they meant in a positive way. And for whatever reason, whether it's you're just having a bad day or you're, you know, Scorpio's messing with your brain a little bit and your humor went a little <laughs> dark. That's what tends to happen to me. Um, but you twist it and then you hold on to it and it's, mm -hmm altered version and occasionally just give your heart a little stab <laughs> but it's their fault they said it right another conversation anyway <laughs> so now is the time to, to take an inventory of those things that people may have said meaning to help you that mm -hmm. you have been punishing yourself ever since for whatever reason because you needed that help Oh gosh, you're not a standalone individual on an island without any human beings. Yeah, you need people's help. It's okay yeah. to have people help, right? Mm -hmm. But whatever those may be, now is the time to write them down, crumple them up, and burn them. Yeah. Yep. Get Let rid it go. Of the ashes. Bury them if you'd like. Throw them away. That's fine. You know. Hell, if you really, really want to, make some more paint out of them. The, the, yeah. Ooh, I've okay. never thought of that. You can do that, too. I, I like that. that. All right? that because consider be we real. are releasing, I, I wouldn't recommend prison tattoos with the ashes. It's, yeah, no. You, you, no. 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 That's not something no. you want to do. But no. now's the time to do that. Because as you do that now, over these next couple of days, you will be literally provided for and protected by the universe as you go through this process. And mm -hmm. it will be less painful than it would have been at other times yeah. when, you know, you're like, Oh, I think I need to do this. Let's force this through. Right. Right now, all of the ingredients are here in their right proportions and it's up to you to pick up the wooden spoon and make the best fucking brownies you could ever think of. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? You don't like nuts? Get those fucking nuts out of there. Right? Yeah. Make your sweetness the kind that, that everybody wants a piece of. I love it. I like that. I like it. Yes, ma'am. That's good. I love That's that. Brilliant. Awesome. See how awesome. it all comes together? Yes, it does. It, it, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. So let's give a little credit here where credit is due. Um, I want to thank Damara Samolinski because she's the only one who shared this episode last week. So we oh. have no winner. For this oh. week because Damaris just won and she's now one of us <laughs> so she gets to be one of the ones that are giving stuff away there no, that's okay, okay but I, i'm glad i shared it you did and thank I'm glad you, you for sharing it, it. Yes. in fact i i really want to acknowledge you because you have been doing a lot of sharing you've been doing sharing. a lot of work on behalf of three crones and you have just a wonderful addition. Thank you so oh, much for being you here. Thank you to both of you. Thank and thank you. you to Joanne for bringing you. Yes, here. I always do. I'm very yes. grateful for that, for her inviting me. Yes, Absolutely. to take mm -hmm. a spot. Yes. Fantastic. Yep, yep. All right. So I want to make sure that all of you know to make sure and go and visit our sponsor, Sue at Class Act Imports. Also, make sure that you ask her about Krista's seven crystals that will rock your world um, so that she can get you on the waiting list for that. Also, we want to say thank you to our sponsors, Dimensional Healing with Krista on Facebook, Creative Command Coaching and Consulting with yours truly, 
and <laughs> Ask the Genie with Damaris Samolinski. Thank you all for supporting the show. Tell everyone that you know where to watch us. You can watch us everywhere on YouTube, on Facebook, on gailnicholson.com. And um, by all means, you know, watch the replays if you'd like. Now I got to get us back to where we were. Sorry. I will get the hang of this or we will hire a producer, one or the other. One or the other. <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> We're, we're open for possibilities, folks. We really yeah. are. We know we want to grow, and we know you want us to grow. Yeah. So, you know, maybe we do need a producer. Maybe we need an admin person. Ooh. What else is possible, and how much better can that get? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I accept, I empower, and I increase. There awesome. we go. So okay. Neat. Ladies, thank you again so much for being with me. Thank, thank you, you, everyone, for uh, joining um, in with the show and joining in with the comments. Um, Joanne yep. saying that she's like, that's not true. I shared uh, that maybe well be so. I didn't see that on the original broadcast from last week. So that's the thing for everybody out there. You got to share the original broadcast because that's where I look. Alrighty. Um, yeah, it, unfortunately, I have in the past seen where people have shared it and then other people share it out. And that second, because they're not actually in the group liking and commenting, I can't count them either. Them is the rules. Alrighty. So thank you all, if, audience, for participating. Thank you for our sponsor, Sue, over at Class Act Imports. And I hope that you all have a fantastic week ahead. And we see you again real soon. Bye. Bye.